Long ago, when the evil samurai warlord was banished the first time, an era of peace and tranquility descended upon the empire for more than 300 years. The dark castles he had built were abandoned and slowly fell into ruin, and the villagers across the countryside no longer lived in fear. As the years went by, the secret of the powerful Kujin magic was hidden away in ancient shrines, and the people of the villages and towns went back to farming and going about their daily lives. Then one day, something changed. Terrible storms began to brew over the mountains on the distant horizon. Floods and earthquakes began to appear in the floodlands. Looking down from the mountain where the ninjas lived and trained, the ninja master could see that something was terribly wrong in the world. Animals were seen fleeing for their lives. Some spoke of mysterious figures hunting and caging animals for some unknown purpose. The truth was that the evil samurai warlord had returned and had started raising an army of evil minions to aid him taking over the world. He had begun using forbidden Kuji magic to twist evils and animals, transforming them into mindless samurai warriors. The warlord would send them forth to recapture his castles of old and use them as a basis for terrorizing the surrounding countryside. There was just one flaw in his plan. By using the Kuji magic in such a way, the evil samurai warlord was once again upsetting the balance of nature, bringing the wrath of the gods down upon the earth in the form of ravaging storms. The larger his armies grew, the worse the storms became. The ninja master knew none of this yet, though he knew that something must be done to get to the bottom of this mystery. It was his sworn oath to protect the balance of nature, an oath he could never allow himself to break. A decision was made. The ninja master sent his most skilled ninja on a quest to discover the source of the storms. Many suns and moons passed, and no word from the ninja returned. The master sent another of his best, but again, nothing. Again and again, he sent his ninjas forth, but again and again, not one of his agents returned. Soon, there were only two ninjas left, and there were the last ninjas he would have ever chosen to send on such a perilous quest. But it appeared that the fate of the world could lay in the hands of these last two. Hero, it is good that I found you. There is something terrible going on. I went down to speak with the village headman below the mountain to see if he knew anything of our missing ninja friends. He did not. Instead, he had strange tales to tell. He had seen samurai moving in the forest across the river, bearing a mysterious crest on their flags. The samurai were apparently hunting animals and taking them deeper into the jade stone forest. The only thing that lies in that direction is the old castle. But that fortress has long been abandoned. Or so I thought. Hero, I need you to quickly finish your training. You must set out down the mountain and travel to the castle. Perhaps there, you will find some answers to this riddle. To help you on your journey, the Tengu have woven you some special huts at my request. These are no ordinary things. They have been made of a special weave which can turn an arrow, among other things. Hurry to the dojo and speak with Zen. He will complete your training. When you are finished, I will be waiting for you at the main gate of the village.
Ah, good morning. It feels strange in the village with all of your ninja friends gone, does it not? A strange mystery. I think that Zen was looking for you. Perhaps you should check down at the dojo. So you finally decided to show up, hero. The ninja master has instructed me to finish your training as quickly as possible. Today's lesson will be very different than the others. I will go over the basics one last time. Then you will be given your final test. Now, attempt to attack my assistant here when he appears. Time my assistant will also attempt to defend himself. To defend <laughs> excellent. Now follow up with the quick. <laughs> Very good, Kiro. You have done well. Of course, it is a rare thing that the ninja is confronted by only one opponent. You will almost always find yourself outnumbered. Now you must apply the lesson with my teachings in mind. Eh? Defend yourself! Excellent. You are improving, young one. You can rest for a moment. You must hurry today, but there is still time. Oh, it's typical. Your friend Futo still hasn't arrived. If the boy has gotten into my apple tree again... You know what, hero? You'd better get up the hill and track him down. If you take the main door from the dojo and go straight up the hill that way, you will probably find him hanging around my apple tree. Go fetch him and return, but be on your guard at all times. You may be challenged by my assistants at any time within the village. <laughs> 